Hello, love friends. Deborah Driver here, and welcome back to another day in the nonchalant Nuzlocke. So we're gonna go ahead. Uh, you know, I don't know if you guys watched our last episode, but here is the team. We have our starter, Rufio, with that tackle, bite, firefang, and happy hour. Um, has a pretty high attack, but it has a stronger defense with that uh, bold nature. We got Grubbin, Victor the Grubbin. I'm uh, sorry, Rufio the Rockruff. Victor the uh, Grubbin with the higher attack nature, lower defense, which is a lonely nature. The ability Swarm with Quick Claw. Um, attacks are Vice Grip, String Shot, Mud Slap, Bite. Third catch of the day, or forever, is Smalls the uh, Meowth, the Alolan Meowth, uh, lowering its special attack and raising its speed, which is perfect with the Technician ability and Jolly nature. Uh, we have Gem, a recent uh, addition to the team. We haven't had a chance to train up Gem at all. Gem is a male Murkrow with a lowering attack and raising the speed to have a really good special attack. It is a timid nature. Alert to sound and we caught them in the cemetery. And then route two we got the creep. Drowsy himself with insomnia as pound, hypnosis, disable, and confusion. And we're hoping that can be helpful with that bashful nature. A creep. A bashful creep guys. Bashful creep. <laughs> You know, you guys like that bashful creepness. So we're going to go ahead and take Drowsy and Murkrow over to the cemetery and start trying to uh, wreck and try to... We got a couple trainers over here to beat in the cemetery and then we have to go over to the motel and see what's going on over there because Crabrawler will not let us pass. So let's go ahead. Hey, Breeder. She'll turn around in a second. There we go. Or, I didn't ever see that before. We can get in her way, but without her grabbing us, it's weird. I use the moves that are so good at that it was so good at. What was so good at? What? I don't know. It's confused now. Pokemon Breeder. We got the full art of her. She sends out the Pikachu. Pikachu is you. Let's go, creep. Be all creepy. People love Pikachu. So what are you gonna do to it? Thunder shock, ouch. Putting it to sleep right away. And then Dream Eater, right? Let's go ahead and confusion because it's stab. Okay, that did all right, but let's see what Pound does. Pound it a little bit less. So let's go ahead and go back to confusion. No, the Pikachu is playing nice. Making my attack fall, so confusion might be the better one to use now. Ooh, so close. Use confusion one more time. There, creep, and uh, take out the mascot that is Pikachu. There you go, there you go. Almost raising an entire level. There goes Pikachu. Pika Blue, Pikachu. Okay, let's see what else is over here. Ooh, an item. Confide, lowering uh, attack, defense, and all that jazz. Um. Rotom's looking sad. Oh, he took us to the map there. I didn't mean for that. Just meant to, like, hit him. And we run into a wild... Ghastly! The ball of gas. It smells like farts. Alright, Drowsy. One hit wonder. One hit wondrous. Be the new Carol. Drowsy would have creeped hard on Carol, I think. Mean look, you can't escape now. 
Alright, take out of this ball of gas with confusion there. Here we go, level 10. The creep is gaining. Okay, let's take this show to the road. And that road is going to be... Ooh, an item. Big mushrooms. Alright, we'll bottle this guy first. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, he went down there. Welcome to the Pokemon Cemetery. It, it's no good because of it's so mourning. Yeah, yeah. It's no good because it gets so mournful. Hey! Office worker Jeremy! If you're an office worker Jeremy, guys, let me know. Picky pet! Oh, I thought I'd be one of these, like, ghost types. Everyone had ghost types inside the cemetery. But apparently I'm incorrect in thinking that. Whoa! Rock smashing? How does a woodpecker smash rocks? But it did lower my defense, which is not the best. Half! The creep wants half of your... HP echoed voice dangerous. That root can really stack. And yeah, we got the knockout. Very good creep, very good creep. This is uh just so you guys know, this is not the creep show. I'll try to hold back my ears. Uh and it will change soon. Just bear and grin the creep show for about half the episode and then uh We'll make it worth your while at the end there. We'll, we'll, we'll put some gems in there. We are challenged by Preschool Amalia. Happy! Ooh, this is some bad experience. Okay, I'm gonna try to put him... I'm gonna try to use my team here. And first things first is to disable that pound. I'm gonna try to act like a team here. Oh, I used copycat. Is it gonna disable disable? Cause that's kind of funny. <laughs> the creeps disabled was disabled. Good, I didn't disable hypnosis. Okay, so let's put Happini asleep here. Now it's gonna have fat special defense because it is it evolves into a chancy. So we wanna attack it on the physical side with Jim here. And spread that log. Get some um, experience for both party members here. Go ahead and peck it, get that, uh, stab. Same type attack bonus. Nice, half of the damage. No longer disabled with the pound. But still asleep, so we can peck it one more time and get the knockout. There you go. There you go, gemming it up. Level 10 for gem. And we beat Preschool Malia. Why I lost! Shouting it to the heavens. Okay, let's go get this last item over here. Which is a super potion. Super. And is there anything else we need in here? Nope. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the motel. The Holiday Inn. The Hotel Motel Holiday Inn. Sneak around here. Ooh, what's in this house? Whose house is this? Move over there. Move over there. Is this like, uh, whose house could this be? It's good for kids to experience their own journeys, but running away without even a word to your parents is another thing entirely. Uh, I tried to set my boy, the boy of mine straight, but when I did, I was the one who got beat. 
So, what's the, what's the clues? No, don't talk to him again. Don't talk to him again. I wondered what the clues were about who he is. Hey, totem sticker. Great number of broken and bent golf clubs in the bag. That's a TV. Slide and glide, ride the waves, watch the water splash, and soar through the air. Come, have a ride on your life experience, man time. Surfing. Why can't I click on anything? What does the book say? One of the photos shows a tall boy clasping his island challenge amulet with a clear glow of pride. Oh, I just went right into his room. Um... Investigation, who is it? Thin layer of dust on the trophies. Do you got a TV in his room? There are mounds of Malazada waiting for you. Just join us in some marvelous Malazadas. Alola fans, <laughs> let me tell you today, we are having a dul dulce, delicious, sweet Malazada. Let's dig in it all for once. Munch, munch, mm. It's just so delicious. It's just as sweet as hair plucks and slur puffs in a single bite to send you straight to the heavens. You should definitely share one of these with your Pokemon that loves sweet flavors. Tune in again tomorrow for more munchies. There are the munching sounds of Malasada's waiting. Alright, let's do the creepy thing, guys. This will tell us exactly who it is. There's a sad, musty odor of an old bed that no one has slept in for a long time. Creepy, why am I allowed to lay in bed but not sit in chairs? I don't understand. I don't understand. Um, what's this say? Looks like it hasn't been touched lately. Nothing else. Whose house is this? Who lives on Route 2? Okay. Cabral is finally going to get us to come over here. <laughs> We're right to be by the sea. That's right. Welcome to my wonderful seaside motel. The Cabral sure is something, ain't he? He needs passer buyers to bring him to me so that I can send them down on the bay. Though he's actually been a little too good at his job. I've noticed I've got no vacants. Vacant rooms to offer you, but that doesn't mean you can't you come for nothing. Here, follow me this way. Okay, let's check out these uh, the holiday in here, I guess. Mm, is that a beach over there? Let's go. Don't worry about me. I won't trust. I won't rust. I won't rust. Ooh, trust. Um, you're off on your island challenge. You then you'll need to help many different Pokemon. Ooh, vending machine. Oh, my favorite drink, water, is sold out. Is that a rock rough back there? I didn't get to catch that. Was that a rock rough back there? Okay, to the next room. Hmm, I think I finally nailed my, nailed my hairstyle, but now my makeup doesn't seem to match. Hmm. This is me right here, guys. All the time. So I... So you got a Pokédex then, have you? And I guess you need some nest balls. I do like nest balls. I use them all the time in the game. Nest balls make it easier to catch Pokémon that are weak. A low level is easier. It's got it. Magmite. Clip trip. Uh, clip trip. <laughs> Chip clip. That's what I named the Magmite. Chip clip. And is there any more rooms? No, but there's a Pokéball. And what is down there? Super Potion! Can I like sneak back here? There's like a whole beach down there. What's under the thing under here now? Okay guy, tell me what this is. See that? Look at the broad expansion of the beach. The name's Big Wave Beach. Something inter interesting Pokemon to be found down there on the beach, so I'd suggest having a look. And just so you know, the path to the beach was made by none other than yours truly. That's right. Just me and my brawler. That's pretty sweet. Ooh, there's a surf. Let's battle him on the way back up, guys. Whoa, big wave beach, guys. This looks pretty sweet. Ooh, big wave beach. It's a new area. I hope we can catch anything. What do you have to say, lady? BP! Between Beach Peak pre or is it Battle Points? Battle Points for rewards. Uh, what are the prizes you're gonna win? Berry Juice, Full Gear, Rare Candies, Nitro Revives, 
PP ups, that's interesting. Does that mean you sell beach points too? You can like just barely see her. Thanks for stopping by! Do you want to teach your Pokemon to move in exchange for some BP? Ooh, move. Snore, heal bell, electro web. Defog, low kick, uproar, bind. Helping hand, shockwave, block, last resort. Worry seed, coven, bug bite, snatch, recycle, and quit. Oh wait. Yes, quit. Quit is a move, guys. Quit is now a new move. Just for you. Wow, interesting. Um... Wow, this is a big beach. Can I catch anything just by going right here? No? I was way next to it. The fisher dude. Hey, the cave. I wonder if I can catch anything in the big beach. But what's in here? Sandy cave. Now, is that coming later? Oh, crap. So you gotta catch it, whatever it is. Zubat. Eh, I guess it saves me, gives me some dupes later on, right? Looks like our sixth party member is going to be Zubat, guys. Crobat could be a very good mon for us if we really get our friendship up amazingly. Our energy was drained. Now I think Confusion will one shot this thing, so we're gonna have to pound him down to the ground so we can catch him. Now what's a good name for a Crobat? I had a Crobat card and... Don't remember what I, its uh, attack name was because I do like to name things after attacks on the cards as well. Maybe I'll name it that. Okay, let's throw a Pokeball and see if we can catch the Zubat. I know a lot of people name it Fat Batman or something like that. Zubat Man. I could name it Bruce. It's a male. I could name it Bruce. That's probably the best option actually is to name it Bruce. Okay, let's name our Zubat, our newly captured Zubat, Bruce. Number 80 is registered. The Zubat man has no eyeballs, so it can't see. Blind Bruce. Okay. It checks its surroundings with its ultrasonic waves. It emits from its mouth. So it's a loud talker. Okay guys, let's name it Bruce though. I kinda like that name for a Zubat. Zubat, I was gonna name it Clutch or something, I don't know. So we could turn that into a Crobat eventually, which is pretty cool. Um, so Sandy Cave. I'll have to keep that in mind. Um, that's what his name was, right? I'll have to write this down. Sandy Cave. Okay, and I ran into another one. Zoo Batman. See, this is what would have happened if I just used confusion. Ah, oh, but this one's stronger. I got the creep is really showing up today. In fact, already caught up to the rest of the pack. I don't think we'll see him for the rest of the game, though. Here we go. If you fall off during Mantine Surf, don't worry. Pika Mew will help float you and fish you and up eventually. No, I'm only kidding. Uh, the Mantine will always help and get you back up on the wave. Look good for Mantine. Can I try, like, Mantine Surf now? My straw hack got blown away in the wind, and well, I chased after it and wound up here. Yo, dude, how about you ride that Mantine Surf? You just flow with the wave, and it's important to challenge yourself, too. <laughs> Lola is a famous, is 
<laughs> Alola is famous for maritime surfing. You can enjoy some epic waves here. <laughs> hey, little cousin! Welcome to the big wave beach! Come exactly at the right place! Look if you're looking to get some maritime surf! Maritime surf is just what it says on the box. You climb on the back of maritime, and then you surf. Surfing is the best sport where you can enjoy traveling across ocean waves. Though, youngsters like you who want to get themselves into maritime surfing have to toughen up and show that they can really handle it first. Surfing is a bit dangerous sport to be fair. Come back when you're as tough as a real kahuna, okay? Me and Mantine will be holding our breath in anticipation until you do. Wait, do Mantine breathe? Are you even holding your breath? Let's do our best to get together and get some Mantine surfing too. I just can't wait, pal. Move. Move, lady. I wanna move. Yeah, um. Uh, you're standing in the way. I wanna go up here. It looks like I can. But I wanna. You jerk. So I guess that's all about Mantine Big Wave Beach here, guys. You can Mantine surf at several surf spots, enjoying surfing with the. You guessed. Mantine. So Mantine's actually cool in this game. Sweet. Grunt A. <coughs> you better be ready for the mischief masters of Team Skull to do some man time surfing too. What? Let's go guys, let's go. Let's let's go. Let's let's, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's let's go. Oh, Team Skull! You know you guys can't ride here. <coughs> What's up with that? We look like the kids you- we do- do we look like kids or something to you? Nah, no, I'm just to say it. No, the real reason is- Yeah, the real reason is what? Every time you try to keep up those ridiculous dance moves, and even on man time to die, then you end up in the water! <laughs> you want us to stop dancing? That's our identity. Yo, that's all what we got! These guys are clearly retro and new. If you guys don't know them, check them out. But he doesn't stop his ridiculous dance moves either. Man, forget her, B. We're Team Skull. No one can stop us from acting hard-headed. Let us rap at the man time. Get it all riled up and then time. I don't know. Somebody please help you. Love Skull will get away from man time. Come on, pal. Let's help out those numb skulls. Get any real team. Yo, numbskulls, how you doing? But you looking at short stuff, huh? Huh? Wait, you're that kid. You want to scrap Tiny Trainer? Okay, battle, yo. You might have beat us in Halloween City, but we'll put our heads together and beat you this time. We'll put our heads together and beat you this time. Team Skull! Yeah! Oh, he challenged me, did he? He challenged me. Sent out a drowsy. Oh, it's the creep off. So this guy has the true creep. Alright. Work together again. We will hypnosis this drowsy. Except he probably hasn't saw me. He does it again. He used pound on us. No matter. No matter. We'll just uh, switch our Pokemon now. Uh, pound. I gotta check here. I'm not sure who has the more defense. Because that's who I'm gonna send in. So defense 14, special defense is 15. Versus Murkrow's defense is 13. Okay, I think I gotta go with Smalls. Our original dark type here. It also has a technician boosted bite, which is also gonna help us here. Go Smalls! Take that hit. Bite this dude. You, ever guys, you guys ever have a cat bite you? It hurts. As Drowsy just demonstrated. It hurts when a cat bites you. Yo, I'm feeling mad annoyed that my team just got destroyed. I think that's all the time we have today, guys, actually. I'm going to go ahead and get back up to the hotel. Seriously, home slice, you're too strong for a kid, yo. Or I've got, 
I've gotta go make something else miserable to feel better. Let's go mess with the Lima again, B. I'm down with that. Burning Cat was pretty close by anyways. Hey, you! You better listen to what my homie says. Drill that into your thick skulls of yours. Seriously, you gotta not forget, numbskull. I should just called yourself numbskull. Nice one, kid. Next time I'll be subjected to the terrible surfing skills thanks to you. You're a decent trainer. Just like I expect from the trial girl on the island challenge. Why don't you take this from me? Oh, look at that. Some fresh water. I bet you could take on Captain and Lima's trial with how well you handled that battle. Even the Kahuna Hall could probably say that you're ready for a take on all of the world. If he says you're not ready, or if he says that you're ready, come back here and we'll get to you on Mantine in no time. Bleh. Mantine in no time. I knew you could beat those bone heads, but now on to the trial site. At last. So this is a cool view, guys. I'm going to go ahead and stop right here. We'll pick up, head down this side of this uh, little ramp here. And then uh, go back up to Route 2 and try to get over to Verdant Cavern. Just wake up, Rotom. You can't sleep right now, dude. You can't sleep. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. This has been Dapper Drabby. I'll bid you guys a Lola, And I hope to see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.